One local family business is marking a big anniversary this year. Bustard's Christmas Trees in Lansdale is celebrating 90 years. Wow. Eyewitness News reporter Pat Gallen is live there this morning with more on the milestone and details about a special program for our troops. Hey, Pat, good morning. Good morning, guys. It is a, a beautiful morning to come out and get a Christmas tree. We have to do that a little bit later on when the sun comes out, but this is the perfect place to do it. It's Bustard Christmas trees, and they've got everything from the little guys to the big guys. They've got it all for you, and that program we will tell you about in just a second. But this is Jay Buster. Jay, good morning. Good, good morning. to see you How again. You? I'm doing well. Thanks for having us this morning, and tell oh, us. Thanks for coming. Tell us about 90 years in this business. It's, uh, it's our 90th year. Uh, our family started in this area as, with a large apple orchard, mm -hmm. and uh, in 1929, we, we started selling Christmas trees and we've been doing it ever since. Um, and uh, it's just, it's, it's a really fun business because you, you know, you're out in nature and your, your office is <laughs> yeah. acres and acres big. Sure, sure. And you guys go back even before that into the 1800s, right? You've right. been in this area for so long. Right, yeah. Um, we came here during the potato famine from, from Ireland, and uh, we had one of the first two-story houses here in Montgomery County. Wow. We had the third uh, meat truck. We used to deliver <laughs> meat and, in Montgomery County. Sure. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a while. So it goes meat to Christmas trees, and you had a special Christmas tree back in 2015 that actually made it into the White House. Right. We were, um, we were selected. Well, we entered the, con the national contest, and we were selected to supply the, the Blue Room in 2015. Wow. And uh, it, was, it was really exciting, and um, it was fun. That's very cool. Um, so you've got a, a cool program. It's called Trees for Troops. Tell us all about that and how people here in this area can get involved. Um, it's a it's a national program, and there's other farms like us that are involved. Mm -hmm. And we uh, we're donating 90 trees. Wow. At, and if anybody wants to come out and buy a tree for $35, that can go on and go on a FedEx truck. FedEx is doing the shipping for free. Oh, great! And our trees will go to a military base in Kentucky, and these will be given to some will go to military bases around the world, but most of them will go to families of soldiers that are deployed overseas wow. or may be injured or something sure. like that, that, that just need the extra special cheer for Christmas. And this weekend is the Trees for Troops weekend here yes. at the farm? Yes. And so you can come out anytime. And like I said, if you want to donate a tree, uh, it, uh, we'll also have a large uh, poster board here. If you just want to write a, a special message, we can, we'll put that in the truck too. That's and, uh, you know, Hopefully it'll be a good time. I think it will be. So that's this weekend here at Bustards. Trees for Troops, make sure you buy one, send one to a, a military family in need. It's certainly a, a worthy cause. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we're going to come back here. Jay is going to talk to us about the perfect tree for Christmas. I know there are a lot of them. So we'll get into that a little bit later on. So join us then at 6 o'clock. Guys, back There's to you. There's a method to all of it. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to hearing the secrets there, Pat. All right, thanks very much.